Can I call you Rose? Hey, Jamal, what's happening, man? How you been? Come on in. Took you long enough. What was it, traffic? We're here at Daptone Studios, where all the magic happens. Yeah, and that's the mixing board and the tape machine and the couch. <laughs> the chair. <laughs> My partner Neil and I, we started the label in 2001 and we moved in here in 2002 and built this old house into a studio and we've been here ever since and uh, uh, we made a lot of records here. We did like 70 albums and 150 45s or something. The process is all about keeping it raw and making it about the musicians, trying to record stuff that actually happens in the room, you know. We don't use a lot of computers, mostly because using like these eight track tape machines just forces the musicians to actually play what's going to happen on the record. You can't just grab note by note and copy and paste it, you know. So we're really about kind of, you know, putting care into the records. We only put out a couple records a year, but we've been doing it for 20 years now, so. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Ain't no business like soul business. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see the back? Come on. Come on back. Yeah, this, yeah this, is, this is the live room. This room over here is the isolation room. Well, first thing, we built the whole thing. Did I tell you that? We built this whole studio. Um, ourselves, man. We did it ourselves. Sharon helped me with, with stuff. Charles helped me with stuff. The Budos helped me knock that wall down over there. This, this room is floating on tires that I found in the neighborhood. Oh, we stuffed it with rags and then we built the floor on that and built the room off that with all tilted walls and stuff, so, so it's, it's isolated. Most of the records we put out were recorded in here. And uh, yeah, we've had Lee Fields here, Sharon did all her records here, um, Amy Winehouse records, Sugarman 3 records, Budos records, Antibalas records. Yeah, we did a lot of records in here. So before Daptone, I had a record company called Desco with this French cat, Philip Lehman. We just kind of did it for fun. And uh, I didn't really intend it to be a career or anything. When that label broke up, Neil came to me, and Neil, was, Neil had the band of Sugarman 3, and I was producing his records for the first company. And he said, man, let's, let's start another record company. I'll take over the business part. You just make the records. But it was never like we had some ambition to like start a business. That never happened. Like, we just wanted to make records, you know? Like, I didn't really think of it as a real job for a real long time. Organic. Yeah, it was real organic. It was around 2008. I was going through some dark times of breakup, mm. and the music was just hitting. And that's how I became big fans. Oh, that's it hit cool, me man. At a time when like I needed needed that. Sharon used to say like, "What comes from the heart goes to the heart," you know. Ooh, she used man. to say that all the time, and it was true. So we always try to cut like that's the whole thing in here is like cut out all the bullshit. Like, n there's no tolerance in here for people talking about like, oh, well they're gonna play this on the radio or people are gonna like this like. No, oh, fuck that. Fuck all that. That's somebody else's problem. We're just trying to make something that real and that we feel. And we know with our fans that if it's real and they feel it, they're going to buy it, you know? So we have mm. a whole different, like there's no money in skating, yeah. there's no high expectations of like having a career, it was just being in a moment yeah. and, and living it. And so I'm, I'm, that's still very much a part of my DNA of yeah. who I am as a skater and a, a company owner now. Yeah. Business. Man, I grew up same time you did, like in the 80s and 90s as a skater. Mm -hmm. And that's the mentality, that's yeah, the same that's culture. Cool. Yeah. Like skater mentality was always like that, like no room for bullshit, you know what I mean? It was like... That's what got me into skating because yeah. I was growing up in the, the hood, mm -hmm. getting into the gang stuff, and I seen skateboarding and I was like, man, they look like they're in their own Yeah, world. they're in their own world. They ripped up kit, yeah. the sneakers, and I was like, I want to try that. Everyone's doing what they want to yeah. do, and it wasn't about conformity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it ain't spun in a long, long time. We, we didn't think we'd be going 20 years, man. It's um, the name is totally fitting, man. Little yeah. House of Soul. Mm -hmm. Amazing story, man. 